Hey guys, welcome back. So I made this video a few days ago about this application called ES Task Manager. Now the main point of this application was to clean your application cache, uh, which does properly work on the Fire OS 5 devices. So on those uh, devices like the second generation Fire TV or the older second generation Fire TV stick, you could open this application. It does require the mouse toggle. This would then do a scan of all the applications on your device. You could click on the cache size and on Fire OS 5 devices, you could just click on this button here and this would then clean all of the application caches for you. Now on the Fire OS 6 devices, like the 4K Fire Stick, uh, clicking on this button wouldn't actually do anything. It would say that it's gonna try and clean it, but due to those permission restrictions, it cannot clean anything. So really the main purpose of this application on those Fire OS 6 devices was just to go up here, click on this, click on sort by size, and then find whichever application has the largest application cache size. You can then clean those caches individually. Now, unfortunately on the home screen of this application, I didn't use any of these other features like this kill all, optimize and power optimizer because for me, the main purpose of this application was to focus on that app cache. Now, unfortunately, some of you did click on this power optimizer. And what this does is it actually turns off your Wi-Fi and also turns off your Bluetooth. So what that means is on your device, your remote will no longer function. And of course, your device will no longer connect to Wi-Fi. And for that, I do want to apologize because I know some of you did click here and it did cause those issues on your device. As soon as I saw a couple of you were having this issue, I quickly removed the application from my website so I could investigate what the problem is. And I can tell you now exactly what the issue is and I also have the fix for it. So in this video today, I'm gonna to do this on my device just so you can see exactly what happens when you click on the power optimizer and I'll show you the exact steps you need to follow to fix it. And I'll also show you if your device ever hangs or if you ever get a blank screen, how you can also factory reset it by just using a key combination on your remote. So do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're started. new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So here we are on my 4K Fire Stick. I've installed the application once again, which is ES Task Manager. And as we know, this application does need the mouse toggle to function properly. So let me now open that up. Now, some of you unfortunately clicked on this power optimizer. Now, let me see what happens when I do that. Let me bring up the virtual mouse. Let's go down and let's click on the power optimizer. Let's do that now. We can see here that wireless network and Bluetooth have now been optimized, but unfortunately what it means is because this application is actually designed for a cell phone or for a tablet and those devices is trying to save the power by switching off the Wi-Fi and also switching off the Bluetooth. So now for example, if I press the home key, we can see now my device no longer responds because both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi have been turned off on my device and we now get a blank screen because what's happening now on the device is it's trying to load the screensaver, but because the Wi-Fi has been deactivated, it's not gonna load anything. And for the people that had the Aerial Dream screensaver, for them they'll see loading Aerial, but again, because there's no Wi-Fi, they just get a blank screen. So how can we fix it? Well, the first thing I tried to do was when I actually unplug the Fire Stick, let me do that now, and plug that back in. Now, just while the device is rebooting, um, I think it's fair to say that when you are trying lots of different things on your Fire device, when you're trying different applications, when you're trying to tweak the device, optimize the device, disable background processes, debloat your device and all that other stuff, then I guess it kind of goes with the territory that if you are gonna be tweaking, optimizing, making changes, disabling stuff, then there may be certain times where your device does hang or you do get a blank screen or you do see an error message and we should always be prepared for that so we know how to reset our device, do a fractured reset, or in this case, how we can fix this particular issue. Now, as we can see that the device is rebooted, if I move around the remote, again, we can see that my remote is not functioning. I have no control of the device. Now, the easiest way to fix this, guys, is just to use a simple OTG cable which you can buy for a couple of dollars from Amazon or from eBay. And I will leave a link in the video description. 
Let's now plug this into our Fire Stick. And what this will do is it will give our Fire Stick a full size USB port. So let me now plug that in. That's now plugged in. I can now plug the power cable in here. This will give the power to the Fire Stick. That's gone in. And I can now use this full size USB port. And what I'm going to do is just plug in a USB keyboard and mouse. So let me do that now. Let me now plug that in. So that's now gone in. This is the mouse I'm going to be using. Let's leave that over there. And this is the keyboard I'm going to use in this demonstration. So we now have a mouse and keyboard plugged into our Fire Stick. So I can now use the keyboard because even though the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi is disabled, because this keyboard connects over this USB dongle, this is not affected. So what I need to do now is if I go over to, uh, in fact, if I go to network, if I click on that, we can see it's saying disconnected because unfortunately that ES Task Manager, when you do do the power optimize, it turns off the Wi-Fi and we need to turn that back on. So let's press escape. Let's now go over to our applications, press enter on that. Let's go to manage and install applications. Let's now find ES Task Manager. Here it is. Let's open that up. And I can now click on launch application. Here we are. Now, if you don't have a keyboard and mouse set like this, which only uses a single USB dongle, what you can do then is firstly plug in your USB keyboard to get to this screen. Once you're on this screen, then plug in your USB mouse. And using your USB mouse, I can now go down here, click on where it says can be optimized. And we can see it's turned off the Wi-Fi and also turned off the Bluetooth. So for us to fix it, I can just go over here, turn that back on, Go over here, turn the Bluetooth on. I can now press escape or back out of this. So let's press again to exit. We are now out. Let me now pick up my remote control. And we can see now that Bluetooth has been activated, I can now use my remote once again. If I go over to Wi-Fi, and we can see that the Wi-Fi networks have now been activated. And of course, you only need to follow this process if you clicked on that power optimize. And let's press the home key and we can see we are back inside our Fire Stick home screen. And the last thing to mention is if you do get stuck in a boot loop where your device keeps on restarting or it keeps on freezing and it's just not functioning properly anymore, what you can do on the remote is if you hold the right on the D-pad and the back buttons together for 10 seconds, let me do that now. So press and hold. And in a couple of seconds, we should then be able to fully and completely reset our device. So that's the other thing you can do whereby if your device is not properly responding, maybe something's happened on your device that you don't want to happen, you can press that keystroke and this will then automatically factory reset your device. And that's all for this video guys. Many thanks for watching. Uh, let me just apologize one more time to the people that clicked on that power optimize. I uh, hope you guys can use this fix now and get back onto your device. For the rest of you, really appreciate your support. And I will just say once again that it just goes with the territory that when you are doing these kind of things on your device, there's always times where your device may lock up or freeze or you get a blank screen. But hopefully I've shown you in this video how you can always just do a quick factory reset and get your device working again. So really appreciate your support and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.